Cape Epic got unfortunately cancelled. But uh, let's take the time to get some insight to get fitter, faster and stronger. Today I want to show you my uh, normal gym routine. First, uh, we're going to do a circle training for general fitness. Uh, focus a lot of core and coordination and balance. In this circle training, I'm not looking after how many reps I'm doing. I actually do like every exercise I do for one minute. And then I do a 20 seconds rest in between with the coordination exercise. Um, easiest is you use a, a watch. On the Garmin watch, it's really easy. You can set an interval. Um, I set interval time to a minute, uh, the recovery time to 20 seconds, and I do 27 times this. That means nine exercises for three laps. That means three arm exercise, three core exercise, three legs exercise. That three times gives you 27 uh, exercises. Okay, ready? And So this is one of my uh, legs exercise. You see, you try to have like a position on the bike, uh, like a handlebar in your arms. I do that 30 seconds with one leg. We have now, I think, around eight kilos uh, kettlebell. And I change and I do the other leg. Oh, that was now a minute. Now it's 20 sec seconds recovery. After legs exercise, I do some rope jumps with closed eyes. You can imagine now to write down a technical descent. So this is a core exercise. Also arms and shoulder. Try to keep you you back always straight, especially if you go far down. You need to tighten your muscles around your, your core. And here as well, try to do it slow. Slow down, slow up. Again here, try to balance for recovery, 20 seconds on the ball. Again with closed eyes. This is an arm exercise, again here important. Keep your back straight. Don't do it too fast. First left arm, then right arm, then together. Together with the balancing on the, on the ball. It's a really good exercise for your shoulders, arm, and even your core, you have to activate The exercise we do always one minute, but you can shorten that down to 40 seconds um, and slowly build it up. I do after an arm exercise for recovery, jump on a ball again on my knees, try to juggle. This is a good legs exercise. It actually simulates a bit like the pulling up the leg when you pedal and make the movement actually to pull up and here it's again really important to do it slow because as slow you do it as harder it gets if you do it fast it's much easier just slow and if you can just lie on your on your shoulders if it's too hard you can use your arms to make it a little bit easier again here try to have a straight back Activate your core. Close your eyes. With something in between your legs here, everything gets a bit harder because you need to actually do 
more than just one thing, you need to activate your leg, your core, your arms. I have now a, a six kilogram ball in my arms, a two kilo uh, between my legs, but here you can adjust and uh, build up slowly. Do this exercise, exercise as well for a minute. Try to balance and close your eyes. Here again, activate your core, then slowly down, slowly up. Really good exercise for your shoulder, arms. If you ride down a rough downhill, you need all that power in your arms. I do it for a minute, so that's probably around 20, 25 times. But here, please adjust for yourself. You can also take the ball a bit closer, gets a bit easier, less weight. But try to go all the way down, all the way down and all the way up. Now you have to imagine you're at the top, you get in a downhill, try to recover, but it's still difficult to ride down. You need a lot of coordination, balance. Here you have to imagine the floor is lava. Just touch it slowly and up. And have a focus on your, on your view. Do a 180, jump. The floor is burning. Again, here we have a bar in your hands, actually to simulate as well as you would have a handlebar in your hands. Again, a minute exercise. Your back needs to be really strong. Um, it's a really good exercise for your back. All your power you generate with your legs, your back needs to hold. A lot of cyclists have back problems. So to avoid that, you need to work hard on your, on your core. This is a good exercise. Slow down and up. I do that as well in this circle for a minute. But please adjust, start maybe with 40 seconds and build it up. Also your shoulders are involved and arms. Again here, afterwards I do some balance on the ball. Close your eyes. What's even better is on a balance board. Here you can also adjust the weight, what you pulling. If you may want to make it easier, you could just put your, your uh, feet on the ground without the, the balance thing. Right after again, juggle. So, that was the first loop. I do three in a row. Gives you a total time of about 35 to 40 minutes. But uh, you can adjust that. First, you maybe just do one loop and you have a break. Then you do maybe once two loops in a row. Then three, you can uh, try to Make all exercise longer. Take with the time more weight. Don't make
make it too um, hard or too difficult. Start with easy things and make it harder and harder. <laughs> but something really important, always challenge your body new. Make new exercises, make new coordination stuff built in. Can be really creative. You can that even do back home without any special stuff. You can use a water bottle as weights or whatever. So uh, you don't have to go to the gym to do actually something like this. Um, that's something really good you can do in, during Corona times. Uh, you can stay home and do your small exercise back home and keep your general fitness also over those uh, difficult times.